Hello, it's Ed here, and today I'm going to show you some tips on how to save battery on your Android phone. Now, the first one I think is probably the main one, and it's uh, I'll just get that right. Um, it's live wallpapers. They look great, don't they? But the trouble is, they drain your battery like anything. So what you kind of want is you want a wallpaper which you can uh, sort of a still one that doesn't move. Probably the lighter colours are the best but um, they do sometimes look a bit boring. We'll just put the classic one on um, for this phone um, which still looks very nice. The next thing you kind of want to do is go into your settings and go on uh, display and then you want to hit brightness um, and just make sure that um, auto automatic brightness is turned off. The reason being is, when you're in different environments, it um, it will change it for you the brightness so you can see the screen better. This is great, but the trouble is, um, is it'll keep changing it and it'll make it really bright. And what I do is I just have it on a set kind of one, so I'll have it like there, and I, it's bearable. You, you know, it's not there, so you need glasses by when you're using the phone. It's sort of bright enough and easy to use. So that's soft. So just uncheck that. These are very simple to do. Next thing is remove basically crap you don't want. Um, so you just think, why the hell have I got this? And you just you know, uninstall it um, because you'll have you know the, their apps and they run in the background. Um, if you've got a Nexus or whatever, or the new one, uh, you've got on battery, you can kind of see the things that are running in the background um, and get, you know, force them to stop, you know, if it's using too much of your battery. As you can see, the screen is taking up quite a lot um, of my battery at the moment. Uh, the next thing you want to do uh, is just make sure you're not leaving loads of apps running in the background because it's using your battery your phone's battery. Now what I do is before I stick my phone back in my pocket is I just make sure I click on uh, this and it shows all of my tabs I've got open for different applications and I just close them all because I know right that means they're closed and I've turned them off so I don't need them anymore. So that's uh, the next thing to do just make sure you do that. Um, I'm trying to show you these tips so you know it's still a smartphone it's not you know it's not the end of your life um, you can still use it as a uh, functional uh, phone, not a £10 phone um, that does nothing. Next thing you want to do is um, make sure your Wi-Fi is off when you're on the move or, you know, you're going to um, college or whatever or work and you don't need it on when you're walking about because it's not connecting to anything. So all it's doing is it's just wasting power. Um, your phone's battery so just make sure when you're on the go uh, just have it off when you're at home it's cool because Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is there so you've got internet access when you need it um, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have now here I've got all the icons up here um, I'll see if I can zoom in there we go and uh, here is the uh, sync one sort of next to the brightness which I've just tapped and um, what you want to make sure is, is that's off. And when you need it, turn it on, whatever. But make sure it's off. Um, the one next to it is the Google Maps um, thing for like locations. I mean, Google want it on because they want to know everything about everyone. Um, so, you know, you don't need it on. Or well, I don't think you do. And it just wastes battery, to be honest. Um, also, Bluetooth. If you've got a car or whatever, or you're connecting it to things, fair enough. But when you don't, when you're not using it, just turn it off. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that. Also, what I recommend getting is or doing as well. Actually, if we just go back onto settings, now you can do this in two different ways. Um, the first way is if you just click put it on airplane mode and no not for an airplane um it's just you know say if you're in a tube or you know you're somewhere where there's no real internet there's nothing you know you never get signal around there stick your phone on airplane mode all right you know it's probably not best sometimes because you're not going to get calls and stuff but um say if you're in the underground or something that's like a train station in london underground um 
and there's no signal, there never is, then just put it on that. Uh, what I do when I'm at work is, because we're in, I'm in this sort of shop, and there's never any signal, um, I've got this uh, app, and there's loads of apps that do this, and they're, they're very effective. Um, sort of app saver, just p put a battery saver or something into uh, the Android app store, and you'll find these, and I think this was probably the best. I'll put the link in the description for it, because what you can do with this one is there's different ones. So there's a general, intelligent, super saver, saving mode, and, you know, when I'm at work, there's nothing, and I just stick it in that. So then my phone's not looking for um, a signal. It's just almost sort of dead as a doo-doo because I can't answer my phone at work um, and have it on that. So you just sort of tap it and you click apply and it applies it. Um, and then when you kind of don't need it anymore, you just go back on, tap normal mode, OK, and you're back and you're fully functional and there's nothing to worry about. It's back in the normal mode you want it in. And that's really it. They're the most sort of... The best sort of tips I give you, very simple sort of ones, and if you've got any comments or any other sort of examples, then just comment below. Thanks for watching, and yeah, goodbye.